everybody welcome back to my channel this is uh, basically all of Ariel's techniques that he taught us at the masterclass in Sydney there is a lot of first impressions here as well played with the new NARS cheek palette I played with the new Huda Beauty palette new Tarte foundations as well and basically a whole new technique so if you are interested in seeing this video keep on watching don't forget to subscribe I promise this one's a good one all right guys let's start off with some skin prep my skin is just terrible today it's just like super dry but let's start off with some Tarte skincare High performance pack your bags <laughs> get it pack your bag so basically these are just infused with some goodies to help hydrate my dry under eyes and just lift and plump them a little bit more you're supposed to leave them on for about 10 to 15 minutes let's just leave these on while I do my eyes and then we'll see how my eyes feel afterwards all right so let's start off by prepping my eyes I'm just gonna take my benefit boying concealer in the shade number one and using my Zoeva bullet brush I'm just gonna work on that product all the way up to my brow bone so we're going to start off with the eyes and I'm going to show you guys exactly what he told us and how he likes to do his eye makeup. Okay, to set over that, I'm just going to take my Mecca Max Banana Bake Powder. You guys know I always use this in my tutorials. And I'm just going to take my 110 from Zoeva for this. I love Zoeva brushes so much and I was so excited when I received a beautiful package from them the other day. So I love all the colors as well. <laughs> Like the rose gold and even just the black and silver is like super nice and professional. I actually started using Zoeva brushes. Well, I got them for myself as a present for myself for my 21st birthday, which was a long time ago now. All right, guys. So for my eyes, I'm going to use a 227. Usually I would use a 228. The difference between the two brushes is that this one is a little bit more flatter and this one is a little bit more round. So we're just going to take this neutral shade here. And it actually works on putting it in an upward motion so that there's really not much distance between the brow actually if any at all the brow and the transition shade up here so he likes to do this because he feels as though it creates a really nice contour in this area here and then he sort of joins it up with the transition shade so like normal um, over here in the socket line and you know I always really noticed that about his photos and stuff like when he'd upload photos like beautiful photos of Kylie Jenner I really noticed that this part was a lot more shadowed than I would usually do. So I am really excited to try this on myself to see how it changes my eye shape. Now while this palette is so super beautiful, I'm just gonna swap to the Morphe palette because that is the one that I did receive in my sponsor bag, in my little goodie bag. And I'm just gonna pick up this like super orangey shade just here and I'm just gonna continue filling in this area. So I guess what he really focuses most on is that transition shade, which is something that I always love to do. And we're just going to try and wing it out a little as well, just flicking it really gently. So one thing that Ariel did mention is that he just really loves to keep layering on the product a little bit at a time, which is something that I always recommend to my clients and my followers. Always just building up something really slowly is always going to look so much better. So now just picking up my 228, I'm just going to pick up this shade right here. And we're just going to blend off and really try and wing this eyeshadow out as much as possible. So now I'm going to start introducing this really ready brown shade and get right in the socket and keep blending those shadows. So now I'm just picking up my new NARS palette and it is called Couch de Soleil. I don't know. I'm just going to pick up this middle shade here on my same 228. The one thing is when you get new brushes that they can be a little bit stiff. So it's going to take a little bit more blending for me. But I just really want to angle that out and just like blow out the shadow so that it goes really, really elongated over here. It's a pretty shade. It's got like a little bit of like shimmer through it. I don't know if we can have a look just here, but it is quite pretty. So just with the remaining of what's left on the brush, I'm just going to pick up this shade right here. So just like a really salmon-y shade. And I'm just going to press it over the mobile lid here. Let's get on to doing my brows now. I'm going to take a brand new brow by Benefit, a color brow. I'm going to get a color brow today. Ooh. So I'm picking up the shade number four. As you guys know, I am a shade number four. And we're just going to start to fill in my brows. So I love so much about this product that it is sweat proof and waterproof because that does mean that it gets to stay on much longer. So I'm just going to use my high brow glow underneath my brow bone just here. And this is going to act as our highlight. I didn't bring my Bad Gal Bang Mascara by Benefit, which I'm really sad about. But I'm going to use my Multiplier Mascara by Revlon, which is still pretty good. And I'm just going to pump up my lashes. So as you guys can already see, it started to wing out the eyeshadow quite a fair bit. And then it's coming up really high in the inner corners here. So it's coming more like that and then fading out, which helps really give that arm and shape. And that's what Ariel does a lot of which is ma with his makeovers that I find really pretty. And I love. Okay, so now that I'm finished up with my eyes, I'm just going to take these little cool Ouija movies 
Moving on to my face. Ariel also mentioned that he believes when um, skin produces oil, it is just because it is dehydrated. And I actually do really agree with him there. And a lot of my clients actually, they come to me and they're like, I don't moisturize my skin because it's oily. So I produce so much oil, I don't want to put any more moisture in it. And then I was like, well, you know what? When I heard Ariel say that, I'm like, it actually is really true that some people just forget and they keep like treating their skin just like it's oily and it doesn't need moisture and it becomes even more dehydrated skin actually that is a really beautiful moisturizer tart h2o gel very very good very nice okay let's get on to foundation now so i'm going to mix the two tart rainforest of the sea foundation i've been using this all weekend on my clients and it is so stunning um, i'm going to mix the medium to tan and then just the medium to neutral because you know you guys know i'm always trying to go a little bit darker even though and now Ariel only likes to apply from the chest upwards because he likes to add a little bit of color and feels like you know he can't really match exactly the way that our face is to the rest of our body without doing this so I'm gonna do this for the first time ever in my life what I love so much about this foundation is that it is just like so super smooth it has the most beautiful finish so we're doing that and we're working it all the way up and he actually left this whole section of the face out and didn't touch it with foundation. So I'm going to do the same thing for you guys. Okay, so now that I feel like I've applied enough foundation all over my face, I'm just going to blend it up with my beauty blender. Where's my beauty blender? There's nothing more I love than a fresh beauty blender. Any harsh lines or any brush strokes that that brush might have given me. I love this foundation. I love. So the next thing that I'm going to do is actually apply my waterproof full coverage concealer. This I have in the foundation and the foundation is amazing super super matte though but i'm just going to apply it in this section here and all through the center of the face it is a little bit lighter than my skin tone and he took the concealer a little bit up the nose and he was always sort of getting his model to smile so smiling and just seeing exactly where he wanted to finish that concealer so that when they do smile it wasn't cut off which i thought was such a good tip that he gave so basically he uses two concealers the first concealer is to just like conceal and give coverage and the next one is to highlight I'm just going to blend this off first because this is quite matte. I can feel like it is a super matte full coverage concealer. Oh my god, the coverage of this concealer is immaculate. So now to actually highlight my face, I'm going to use my NARS Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard, which is, I'm pretty sure, the shade that Ariel used as well. And I'm just going to use a 233 by Zoeva and apply that concealer in this area here. Bring it down a little. I'm also going to highlight my upper lip area as well and through the forehead and a little on the chin. So I always explain this to you guys anyway, but when you look straight on and with the camera, it is just really nice to have the center of the face highlighted. So after he conceals, he goes in and does this as well because it just obviously brings a really nice, you know, highlight to that area of the face. So I'm just going to blend it off with my beauty blender and I'm just going to really softly do my nose because I don't want to over blend my nose his nose contour is always pretty strong so all right so before we get to contouring i'm just going to start to bake the face which is what ariel does as well but i'm going to use my life proof powder to do so and i'm just going to use this little wedge sponge here because that is what he used as well but he collected quite a bit of product and he brought up the baking to about here so he actually didn't go higher than this area here and he left it baking quite a bit but i'm just going to take it up my nose as well i am breathing in all this powder by the way so again we're just going to follow that line of like when you smile on the nose we are going to contour the rest of my face so i'm just going to use my 168 by mac and just pick up my tart sculpt we're just going to take that around the hairline as well. Ariel did do a lot of this. Contour my nose, I'm just going to take a little paintbrush by Morphe and just pick up Mocha by Fendi Beauty. We're just going to try and bring it all the way up so that we sort of join it into this area here that I was talking about. All right, guys, so while we're waiting to bake, I'm just going to take this shade here and my pencil brush and we're going to do the under eye. Now, Ariel did say that he loves to bring the shades really, really low on the under eye, which I absolutely love about his makeovers. I love that he does that, but... I'm just going to start to blend that and bring it really low and join it up to this area here. Okay, so I feel like we're pretty dark underneath the eyes at this point. So I'm just going to leave it how it is. I'm going to introduce my little 227 brush and just picking up that same shade 
and I'm just going to like keep winging it out, you know, like just keep winging out that eyeshadow. While we're waiting for that baking powder to still do its thing, I'm just going to run a brown pencil through my waterline. Okay, time for lashes. Okay guys, so my camera died and I had to put my lashes on off camera. It is time to now dust off all the powder. Okay, wow, that has made my foundation look like totally flawless and it was baking for a long time. Okay, so I am like so much more matte than I would ever usually make myself, but I really kind of like the fact that it is so like flawless and like full coverage underneath my eyes like I think that it looks really nice it's not really something that I would do usually so I am really happy that I did learn something so new so I'm just gonna now add a highlight so I'm gonna introduce the Huda Beauty the Huda Beauty melted cream and powder and I'm just gonna actually apply the shade Malibu I'm just going to add a pop of Malibu in the inner corners, just on the tops of the lip, and just a fraction down the bridge of the nose. I cannot believe how different my base looks today. Like, this is so super matte. I love teaching you guys this and these new techniques, I guess, that I learned. Now it's time for me to do my lips. Now, Ariel did mention he likes to use a brown, like a dark brown, and overdraw the lips quite a lot, and then go in with a nude lipstick. So we're just overdrawing quite a fair bit and then we're always making sure we're coming back to the natural point of the lip here. Just to create that really, like that really full lip that we always see on Kimmy K. Wow, my lips feel like so big right now. So the next thing that we're going to do is go in with my 044, which is just my nude lipstick from Revlon and apply that in the very center. Okay, I love this lip technique. Now, I just got these beautiful glosses in the mail today. They're the Urban Decay Hi-Fi Shine. So I'm going to test these out. This is just the naked color, and I'm going to put it in the very center like Ariel did. But I love the whole technique of, like, super overdrawing the lips and just creating those really nice shadows with the dark brown. Yeah, I absolutely love it. All right, guys, to finish up the look, I'm just going to use my Urban Decay Chill Setting Spray. And we are all done. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look. It was, like, a total... First impressions video, like total new technique for me to use on myself. I feel like I look so super different. How much it has completely transformed my lips, my cheeks, my eyes, everything. Ariel is so super talented. I had a lot of fun recreating this look for you guys today. I hope that you guys enjoyed and I hope that you like that I did share the tips that I learned with you guys as soon as I got a chance. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time.